Philippines. The only multicultural IPTV station that brings communities together. Over 2.7 million people have already watched. Go Live TV, anytime, anywhere. Sandra, Sandra. Sandra, Sandra. Sandra, Let your light shine bright. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Samra, and um, I have a great show for you today. Our very own Canadian rapper who's been in the game for so long. He is an entrepreneur, a producer, a promoter, you name it. And uh, yes, let's welcome Mr. Robbie G. <laughs> you, you were all the way far in the back. Yeah. Hi. Too. Have a seat. Hello, hello. Hi, you've been busy. Yes, that's. You've I do not stop. <laughs> the grind does not stop. You made it in time, though, so I'm grateful. Yes, always. I'm very punctual. I try yes. And try and take pride in it. I that. never know, you know, because when I haven't really, you know, don't know a person very well, I'm always like, are they going to be on time? Are they going to be on? Don't mess. <laughs> or will they even show up sometimes, right? Because, yeah, that can happen. No, I know. It's, it's cool. Um, right now i am yes you have two more tour dates to two go more tour dates here in ontario we just finished this weekend in london and guelph and st Catharines. incredible shows incredible audience so nice yeah. and your next one is in sault ste marie and barry Friday, and then we got barry on and Saturday. then you're done yeah. Yeah, for, for this for this little one, then I fly back to uh, BC. I've got some shows in BC and Alberta with an artist named Chaos. Um, and uh, yes, we're we know Cologne. Chaos. Yeah. We know Chaos over here. Yeah, nice. You know, I, I I actually lived in London, big big party town over there. I went it to is. school there. <laughs> it is, yes, it's a good but time. yeah, but you grew up in Guelph. Yes, and uh, you were born and raised there. Tell us tell us about your life in Guelph. Guelph. Uh, for hip hop, at least, it had no scene. Kind of when I started out, like growing up there, there was maybe one show that would happen a year, if that, and there was no local artists on those shows. And for me, it was really a struggle to try and get my music heard and get out there and be seen. So instead of relying on somebody else to make it happen, I took it upon myself and said, you know what, I'm going to build the scene here in Guelph and I'm going to start putting on events and putting on shows. And that's where my company was originally created as a result of just needing to facilitate events for myself and for other friends of mine in the area. Mm -hmm. And that turned into now doing events across the country and working with, with some of the top names in, uh, in hip hop. So, yeah. When did you discover your love for hip hop? For me, I would say in probably early, like in grade seven, grade six, around that age, um, my brother, brought me some CDs home. It was Get Rich or Die Trying, 50 Cent, and uh, the Marshall Mathers LP. Those were my introductions to hip hop, and I was hooked. Yeah. Nice, and like, what, you just start writing? How did it? Yeah, um, one of my friends brought a, a song to the house one day, and he's like, I'm gonna start rapping. I was like, all right, cool, and he showed it to me. I was like, that's pretty dope. I could probably do that too, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's uh, just a way to express myself creatively. And at that time, I'd been writing poetry a little bit so and shared some poems um, with my classmates and teachers and stuff. And uh, I felt I could do pretty good at it. So I tried, wrote a song that night, and I was like, I'm good at this. I like this. This is fun. And uh, It's cool yeah. when you discover things about yourself, right? Yeah. Especially for things you actually enjoy and you try, you're like, okay, I, I, I could do this. But, you know, you didn't always have it, you know, I mean, you went through some obstacles like yes. all of us do you went through some hard times and yes you know you you know you you were doing some things you weren't supposed to and ended yeah. up in jail and it was yes. so funny i saw i read an interview um that you did and you're saying how one of the reasons you end up you know selling drugs that were not at a young age because you were kind of influenced by the hip hop industry and what they were rapping about, right? Yeah. So see people, music matters, okay? <laughs> the, the messages in music 100% matter. Absolutely. That's why you got to be mindful of, you know, what we put out there, what we feed the youth, right? 
big time. Big so time. how how did that, you know, when you were in jail and you realized, okay, this is not as glamorous as they make it seem, when did you have that aha moment of, I want to change my life and I don't want to be doing, living the life that I have been living? I don't know if there was one particular moment, but definitely through that time in jail and having your freedom taken away from you and then recognizing the other people around you and the way that they glorify it, the way that they celebrate it. And, um, you know, I was selling something that legally now they sell in stores everywhere, you know, um, but I was doing it at a time where it was illegal to do it and I didn't have a license for it, you know what I mean? And if I had to just waited a few more years, my entre entrepreneurial spirit <laughs> Probably could have taken off, and I could have been one of the biggest, largest marijuana. Okay, we're uh, distributors we're not we're not we're not talking about that right now. But <laughs> but but um, for me, I I think that um, I just uh, I learned that I have a choice to make and a way that I can. Uh, change my life in a positive direction and to I, I saw two paths I saw this path leading this way and I saw that le path leading that way this path leading to potentially more incarceration or death or probably just a bad outcome in the end you know what I mean it's just it's not uh, a good life and I saw that from talking to all these other individuals who've been caught up in crime and selling drugs and doing this and that in the jail system and it's a revolving door um, there's a lot of stats that show that a lot of people that go in just keep going back in and coming back out and going back in and coming back out and going back in and, and you didn't I didn't want that I didn't want to be that statistic I wanted to be the other one that says you know what this I'm never going back in there I'm not going to back and I want to focus on making music and selling CDs and selling merchandise. And that's going to be what I'm doing. So I always tell people now, it's like I sell happiness. I sell, I sell joy. I sell um, just good vibes. That's basically my, the drug of choice that I'm trying to sell to people so that they can feel good when they come to the events and come to the shows. So, um, yeah. It's just, you know, having a positive impact. I mean, we live in a, in a world that's so messed up. There's so much craziness out there. So it's like whatever gifts we've been given and the platforms is like, why not use it to, you know, to have a positive influence and to encourage and to inspire, right? Yes. So that's I, I love how you just turned that around. And a lot of your, your music is, is positive messages. And, um, you know, we met at Dax's concert. You did the opening yes. for him a few months back. And I remember you singing this, uh, rapping this song, When I See You. Yeah. It was about your stepmom who passed away. Um, I literally cried. I told you that night, too. The minute I heard that song, I was so touched. And I just love how music could have that impact and just, you know, stir something within you like that, right? But, like, how do you, how do you overcome hard, hardship in your life? Like, for me, as you know, it's my fate. It's, you know, I get my strength from my Jesus. But, like, how do you overcome the hardships um, I mean, that one in particular, that was hard, losing losing my stepmother to cancer. Um, I find strength in family. I find strength in, in relationships and people that I can lean on to support me. And that's my fans a lot of times, too, is, like, they help me so much. And sharing that song, that piece, that song, When I See You, is hard for me to do every single night. Sometimes I literally feel like I'm going to break down while I'm on stage and, and I can I feel And I felt that in you yeah. as you're rapping it. I could hear it in your voice. And I think that just added so much more to it, even yeah, that it's, feeling. It's real. Every night I feel that pain of and that loss. And for me, sometimes it's like I'm scared to do it because I know the pain and the emotion that's going to cause me in the moment. But at the same time, there's a release that I allow fans to have and people who listen to it that is helping them through their grieving process that, that never ends sometimes for most people. It's like we're still grieving the loss of, of people that we may have lost 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Um, it's it's going to linger with you and it's going to be there. And all I can do is, is share my message, share how that pain affected me and the, the, the good things that I can think about and the love that I still have for that woman and share that with people so they can remember about the good times that they had with their loved ones and, and, and that power that they had in the moment. So 
it's hard for me and it's it's I'm, I'm i'm overcoming it in the moment but literally through writing the songs through sharing them that's my therapy that's a lot of what i rely on to get over hardships even breakups um you know friendship issues financial troubles um life is not easy it's a betrayals, roller coaster rejections, betrayals rejections disappointments oh uh, yes yes there's a lot of that. things all the time people are always challenging you and and forces are always there obstacles are in the way so um, just to get to get over it and to come come through it on the other side is to step back, see it from a bigger, broader perspective, write about it, journal about it, write a song about it, release that emotion, and then share that with with the world. And that's what I feel like I'm here to do is just share my message, and uh, and help somebody else in that process. And you know what it is too. A lot of times when we're dealing with you know difficulties and pain. Um, we, we feel like we're the only ones. We're like nobody will understand us, and I think that's why a lot of people could, you know, have that connection with their artists because when they hear them say certain things, and they're like, "Okay, I'm not alone in this." Do you know what I mean? And I think that is just such a beautiful thing, and I think that's where true connection comes in. Even in, you know, in regular life, when I meet people and we have shared some of the same experiences, and uh, it's it's nice to know that it's not just you. Right. And would you say you you take the time to really like here and there to take care of your mental health and say, you know what, it's been crazy. I need to take, a, you know, I know you talked about taking a step back with that, but, you know, to really check yourself and to make sure you're good, even if nothing bad has happened. But just to take that time, just being like, you know, things been busy, things been chaotic. I need to just be in that resting place. And um, I, I do a little bit. I definitely am a, I guess what you would call a workaholic. I love what I do and I'm blessed in the sense that I get to do and fulfill my passions every day. It does get stressful sometimes. And we did a tour this year where uh, me and one of my friends, Mad Child, we did 65 dates across the country in like 83 days or something, 65 shows. And it was exhausting. It was probably one of the most um, testing and trying tours to be on the road for that long. And you know, I would say after that, I definitely needed a break, a little bit of a break, just like calm, decompress, relax. But like, like is that healthy to do? <laughs> it's, it's probably not. Probably, but there are musicians like I look up to the goats, like Tech Nine, who's done ninety shows in ninety nine days or something like that. Like yeah. he's just just crazy with it on the road. So um, yeah, I get I draw inspiration from people like that and say, you know, I can, if they can do it, I can do it too. I know I can do it. And I just got to keep pushing through. But, but me mental too, health is so important. Yeah, like for me, I, I, it's like, you know, we all have different strengths. And I know for me, like, you know, I, I know my limit. When I see myself yeah. getting agitated or, or, you know what I mean, when I'm feeling a certain way, I know, okay, I need a break right now. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't care what's going on. I just need to, even if it's just like a day for me just to, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the crazy part when you're on the road and you get that feeling sometimes you don't have the choice to have a day to take a break, <laughs> unfortunately, because it's like show, 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 show. You get sometimes one or two days off that aren't really off days because they're usually just traveling to the next city. Oh, and, man, that would um, drive me crazy. Yeah, so, like, you're <laughs> like, oh, I want to take a, a me day. Like, no, you got, you'll get that in a month or two once you're done yeah. the tour. It's crazy. So, um, but at the same time, yoga, meditation, reading a book, um, quieting my mind, relaxing getting in a good mental health state like just it, it, it has a lot to do with our heart rate even just slowing the heart rate is so important it, but also you got to pump it too and work out get physical mm -hmm. go and lift some weights go for a swim go for a jog on the road that's so important y'all need to listen to dr robbie g it's so so important <laughs> no, for sure. it, it helps my whole my whole being just being able to uh to release that that energy when i go out and and, and stay get physical and stuff and it's so so important for everybody um dealing with health and stuff and eating eating properly um also affects your 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 health because your your gut is very linked to your brain mm -hmm. and you will not operate properly mentally if you're not eating properly it's like like it's very, very connected. And some people want to like put those two aside and be like, I'm just going to focus on my mental health and I'll be okay. I can eat whatever I want. Nah, nah. What you eat literally will affect how you think and how you feel and how your body operates. So be very conscious of that in the mental health aspect is like that 
making sure yeah, you're eating it's, properly. Yeah, it's everything. You know, our body, mind, soul, we, you know, it's emotional, mental, spiritual, physical. It's all of it, you know. And when we leave one out, it, it will catch up to us later on and uh, we will feel the effects of that. So you've been in this music game for a very long time. What, over two decades now? Almost, I would say, yeah. I mean, I started making music when I was in high school, and I'm 35 now. So, yeah, I've, I've been making music for that long. I've been touring professionally for over a decade for sure. And, uh, I mean, the first years I was just doing, you know, five or ten shows a year, and now I'm up to the point of this year. I think I've done about 140 shows in this calendar year, which wow. is, like, mind-boggling. <laughs> that, is, that is a lot, why you're still doing so many other things. And... um. Yeah. Did you ever get discouraged? I mean, of course, we all get discouraged. But, like, how did you get discouraged sometimes at points? Because this is a tough business. Yeah. I mean, how did you encourage yourself to keep going? Like, uh, there's a lot of people watching right now who've been at this for so long. And, you know, they're getting so many no's, so many rejections to a point. And not just in the music industry, right? And in so many other um, spheres, like, how would you encourage the people right now watching where they're at the point where they just like about to give up? Totally. Um, for myself, getting over things like in this business, there's many times you're going to face rejection. Mm. You're going to want something, you want to get somewhere, and, and you can't get it. Um, and there's also many other times where you're going to be given false hopes, false promises. People will gaslight you and, and gas you up, make you think that, like, oh, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. Oh, this is it's, it's going to be amazing. And then you find out that none of that was actually true and uh, that it was completely illusion. And you have to sit there and go, like, one, how was I gullible to, like, believe that? And two, how do I have to be more vigilant so that next time I don't get taken advantage of? But those are the things that can really discourage people in business and in life and everything, trusting the wrong people, making relationships with people that take advantage of you and, um, you know, just mess you over, like, in, 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 in really r cruel sense. So you have to learn how to, um, I guess, keep going, relying on yourself, loving yourself, knowing that everybody makes mistakes and you're going to make mistakes in judgment and in character and stuff like that, learning how to pick up those small nuances, those red flags in people when you go, you know what, this sounds a little sketchy. I don't want to take this deal because I see how in here I could get taken advantage of. And you want to try to maintain creative control over yourself, your product, whether it's a live show or even just the creation of your music as a whole. There's a lot of artists in this industry that have been taken advantage of by major labels and like literally taken the floor right out from underneath their career and they get them to sign a piece of paper saying, hey, you're going to get a million dollar contract and little does that artist know that they have to pay back the label almost six times that to be able to recoup the, the one million that they're getting. And that's, that's sometimes in the paperwork, they don't really understand that. And some artists are in debt for, for years for something that they signed a decade ago and they're never able to get out from. And, and they're scared to even move forward, release new music. They've got artists that are stuck in contracts where they have to produce a certain amount of albums and stuff. So in, in music and in life in general, I find for, for me at least to avoid getting discouraged and avoid running to those problems where I'm like signing my rights away to somebody else, have full control over it, have a good understanding of it. And any times that you do have to work with other people, work with somebody that you can trust, somebody that you feel uh, a sense of connection towards and that they have very aligned goals, values as you do. And they want the same thing that you do. And they have principles that you can see and test them out on small things first, not jump into something big. So that is huge, um, definitely yeah, for sure. And I think that the problem is too, when you're so hungry for something and somebody yes. dangles something in front big of you, time. right? And you're just quick to take it. And then later on, you're regretting it. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a lawyer. I didn't, you know, go over this paperwork, right? That's why we got to be careful that we not drink from every cup that's presented to us because some of them has poison in it, right? 100%. So for sure. And, and you got to know the people who are passing that cup to you, what their true intentions are. Exactly. And what they want. Yeah. And, you know, your company, Our, our Evolution, um, do you want to tell them about your new branding? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean... Um, Drum roll! <laughs> I was talking about a friend um, 
just just before jumping into this uh, interview here about how in my career a lot of times I've put myself as the shadow and I've been it, there's somebody else in front of me and I'm in the shadow you know what I mean I go on tour with a lot of artists and I put present them and I put them on stage and put myself in the shadow um, what I'm about to do uh, with my company that has that I've never done before and is kind of scary to be honest, I'm a little nervous even doing it and saying it, but I'm about to put myself in the forefront of my company. Um, it has been called Our Evolution Media for over a decade now. We've been facilitating events across the country, and some people know that it's my company, but the majority of people who go to shows have no clue that I'm the one that's facilitating everything and putting all these things on. And now I'm about to reveal that I am going to be the one presenting everything, and the company is now changing from Our Evolution Media to Robbie G Presents. Yeah. Every, every poster will have my name on it, showcasing that. And it's partly because of the trust that I've built with my name, with my brand. People recognize it when they see that I'm on a show or that I'm at an event, that it's going to be one run properly, that it's going to run on time, that the artists are going to be treated well, that um, the fans are going to be able to come there and have a good time. And, you know, fights rarely break out. We keep the peace very much. Like, it's a very uh, a friendly environment. And... Most people know that associated with my name, and now I'm going to be able to brand that on every single show that my company puts on so that everybody knows that I'm involved in it, that uh, that all those same principles that I just uh, listed will ha will be in that event, and they will be able to enjoy it and have a good time. So, yeah, Robbie G Presents, brand new company. It's going to be launching at the beginning of 2024. Congratulations. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that because people don't realize how much you've done behind the scenes. I mean, in Guelph alone, you changed the whole hip-hop music. You brought so many people down, and you've worked with many people. You've been on tour with... So many people from Opie Trice to Snoop Dogg, didn't you, you know, and Sean Paul, and just the list goes on and on. And um, so I'm glad to see that you're actually making that change. And when there's a little bit of fear, that just motivates you more to, like, take that risk and go for it. So I'm excited to see where that goes. And right now you're working on your 12th album. Edgar, can you please put his album on? <laughs> <laughs> see the artwork yeah so this is yes. this is a double album project that i'm coming out it's called spiritual material and i'm doing two separate albums because i want to showcase to the people two different sides of me two different sides of my story so the first album spiritual releases december 22nd and then we've got another one called material that's going to release on february 2nd of next year um and yeah it's basically my life in Here's this us. album. Hey. In the concert. Robbie with his shirt off. There we go. You always have your shirt off and the cowboy yeah. hat on. <laughs> yeah. When when I perform the shirt comes off. It uh it gets hot up there. Yeah. I, I you guys no all choice. do that. So I'm like, that must be <laughs> nice. But you know what? Um wh where did you get the concept for this album? For this album, the co I'm big into album concepts and um I mean, originally I did a, a whole series where I did all the elements. I did like the fire, earth, air, water elements, and then did an album called One With the Elements and tied it all together. And like, um, I'm big on trying to create an album that has a whole concise feel to it. I don't just want to put out a body of songs and just be like, here's these songs. These songs mean so much to me. And the stories in them are so personal and so vulnerable. Um, I'm really opening up on this next album, on these next projects here to just, really showcase who I am as a person, all sides of me, from the introspective, deep thinking, um, you know, going going so deep to try to find out who I'm who I am, why I'm here, what my purpose is, and 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 how to help influence others on their journey to try and find their own purpose. And then also sharing the material side of me that's more like flashy and I'm, you know, achieving my dreams and trying to, you know, create wealth and abundance for myself and my family and, um, yeah, and having fun, you know. I love a that. Of fun. I love that. I think that's just very mature of you because I just took a year off the show myself. This is actually my first show back. Yay. That's big <laughs> and for I you. changed Woo. the name and everything. But I was, I did a year of isolation, the same thing where you talked about, you know, to rediscover myself, finding my purpose, my identity, what am I supposed to do? Because, you know, when you're around a lot of people, like a lot of people are, give you identity, tell you who you are and what you should be doing and all that. And sometimes you just got to shut all that noise up and just, Go do your own thing and be by yourself, right? And it's it's amazing um, how much comes to the service, right? Uh, of and you 
discovering all these things about yourself. It's it's really beautiful. It's necessary. It, it is it is a place of loneliness, and it's not easy, but it's definitely necessary. So um, you are about to do a song for us. Yes, I am. Which, which, tell them which song you're going to do. This song is called Journey. It's going to be on the upcoming album, Spiritual. It's released now, so it is out on all uh, streaming platforms if you want to check it out. And we just released the music video for this um, before I went on tour, so it's up on, on YouTube now as well. Yay, it's a beautiful song. And uh, before we go into that, because the show is already almost up, and I still had more questions, so you have to definitely come back. Yes. We already talked about this. But um, I just need to give a big shout-out to uh, my boy, Yala Mayel, who made this um, custom-made song for, for, for the show. So thank you, Yala Mayel. I'll put all, all their information down, so you could also, uh, if you want a song, you can reach out to them. My Girl Gorbia. Diaz, who you know does the editing, uh, photography. Diaz Sala, who does my pictures. So I just had to give them a shout out again. I'll put all their description and information down below. And uh, Robbie, you have um, are you, Edgar. You got all his information on here too for people to reach him. Yeah. So Boom, anything that's you the need. Site, yeah, RobbieGHipHop.com. Yes, his his CDs, his um, shows coming up, everything. Make sure to check that. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook all the social media, and, uh, you know, I, I just want to say, why um, why do you think, what do you think is happening with the Canadian music industry? Like, I feel like a lot of Canadian artists, I mean, there's so, man, so much great talent in Canada, but I feel like they don't get the same recognition as, you know, the American artists do. Why, why do you think that is? Is Canada doing something not right? <laughs> Uh, I think that it's just a matter of numbers. We have one-tenth the population and we have one-tenth the budget. And to get your music out and to get it heard, it takes more money. It literally takes more money. And there's some, some insanely talented individuals mm -hmm. in Canada. And I see them because I travel across the country all the time. I see them at shows. I see them headline. And like there is a, a so much so much talent here it's a matter of getting the eyes on it and i don't think it's just a canadian problem it's an international problem it's the same thing in countries like africa um in countries like in asian countries and in india and in in european countries there's definitely people in some of these places that just don't get a chance to be heard or be seen because of their geographical location and, and i love and though that is. you give a lot of people opportunities you know what i mean that that how and they could just reach you like email you to email come and it, it's, he gives so many people opportunities to come and perform right thousands I it's, looked at the thousands of artists I love that and I also love stage. how you tell your fans to bring clothing and food items to your shows and then you drop them off at shelters and yeah. whatnot we all need to be doing that y'all give back <laughs> give back to her I love give that. Back oh, to her. didn't you have something for me i do yeah, yeah speaking of giving speaking yeah. of some, gi wow, that some was a good gifts timing. here <laughs> i got uh i got a, i got some gifts here so we got it's winter time, so we gotta have some toques, you, you know. Have your very own Canadian. G bag. I gotta got, do that. I gotta I gotta level up, get my Samra bags and toques. Got yes. the bags. This is a homies toque. This is another one of my oh, brands. Pink. So your homies, you know, nice pink, nice. hot pink for you. Bam, another hat. What? You can either keep it, you can gift it. I gave you uh, a nice little picture of myself. Nice. And you've got cool. uh, the tour poster. Boom, right there. Yay, hey. thank you. Yeah, this is definitely needed here in Canada <laughs> this season. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to rock it and You're take welcome. a picture and, like, send it to you. Be like, look, Please look what do, please do. I post all my pictures that I get from different people <laughs> wearing this way. So. Awesome. Okay, I'm well, I'm, I'm going to get out of your way, and you do Let's what do you it. do best. Okay. And I hope you all in, enjoy the song. I do. Where's my st is, is this my stage, or do I stage here? Where is I? You can just stay. Right here? I'm right here? <laughs> Love it. All right, let's get it. Edgar, holding us down with the sound. Hey. I've been down this road before, and I've been trying to find a way to make it without looking in my rear view. All the things that I did, yeah, that made me who I am. These the twists and the turns that I steered through. I'm learning my lessons, my life, my direction. 
If I open up my heart for you to come and stay If the road got rough, would you go run away? I won't stop, keep searching This life is a journey I'm ready for the lessons, let's get in training The first test you're gonna face is a test of patience Always make sure you got more to give, there's less you're taking I took the old and made it new, we're going through some restoration Give you peace and thanks, I don't even need the closure Never got lucky, won't see me waiting on four leaf clovers Nah, I bet this luck on myself only reason i got this far is because i trusted myself i blew the dust off the shelf started mopping the floors now focus on the past and who i talked to before not here to look back nah not anymore the crowd starts cheering soon as i walk in the door i've been down this road before and i've been trying to find a way to make it without looking in my rear view all the things that I did, yeah, that made me who I am. These the twists and the turns that I steered through. I'm learning my lessons, my life, my direction. If I open up my heart for you to come and stay. If the road got rough, would you go run away? I won't stop, keep searching. This life is a journey. Yeah, I got a bad hand, turn into a good deal. I'll be dead if looks kill, cause you been on my mind. Just trying to make my wounds heal. Don't tell me how I should feel. Thinking about you still, I should be on my grind. I've been trying to find a way to stop thinking and reminiscing. Now you got me drinking and getting twisted. Down another picture, watch a picture on the television. In a cell in prison, need to break this boat. Said she want a break, she need to take it slow. Yeah, my heart was straight exposed. Sometimes it's just the way she goes. Something I said I can't tiptoe. When it rains, it pours. And I'll never feel the same since the day it broke. I've been down this road before. And I've been trying to find a way to make it without looking in my rear view. All the things that I did, yeah, that made me who I am. These are twists and the turns that I steered through. Learning my lessons, my life, my direction. If I open up my heart for you to come and stay. If the road got rough, would you go run away? I won't stop, keep searching. This life is a journey, I know. Thank you so much for having me. Woo! Appreciate you. This love you. life is a journey. <laughs> yo, yo. I love this. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so Everybody much for give it up me. for Robbie G. Make sure to check out all hey. his music. God bless y'all. See you next week. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let your light shine bright. This is our life.